Hello and welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome to Chat Every Day, where we talk about different things that are going to be helpful to you in marketing, branding, and building your businesses here online. Today, I'm going to do a super quick introduction to Canva, showing you just the basics of how to use it. Now, I will be using the premium version today, but I'll be showing you a lot of things that you can do in either the free or premium versions. And if it's a premium only effect that we're going to be utilizing, I'll be sure to let you know that on screen. But without further ado, let's hop into the video. So once you get signed up on Canva and you have your account, the first thing you're going to see is your dashboard. Now, this is kind of like the command center where everything's going to be available to you. So you'll see the first thing here is this search bar, which is going to be your very best friend when trying to find certain things. But if you're looking for something a little bit faster, you can actually search through these little buttons here as well. You'll see Canva allows you to do things like documents, whiteboards, presentations, social media, videos, print projects, and even websites. And then also over here on the left hand side, you're going to see your home magic studio, which is a new thing that Canva has to offer now. We have our projects, so everything that we've already worked on is going to be stored here. And if we go back to home, we'll see templates. So you can actually create custom templates to have in here. And then it just shows all the other templates that are available here on Canva as well. We have the brand section, which is a premium feature, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. And then we also have a plethora of apps that we can use to help us with our design process and just creating an overall flow it's going to work well with canva and other apps that we might be utilizing canva for so let's go ahead and get started with the designs we know how that looks so all i'm going to do is click on the little social media icon here and what it's going to do is pull up popular templates that people are already using and it's going to give us a few other options as we scroll down below but let's say we wanted to create something for Instagram. So I'm just simply going to hit the Instagram icon. And now it's going to pull up the different types of templates that we can use within Instagram. So stories, advertisements, reels, just regular square posts. And then you can also resize these to fit horizontal or vertical as well. But let's say we're just going to create a basic Instagram square post. So we can click on that. It's going to pull up this design. And now we have a new interface over here. So in the design tab, which comes up by default, we're going to see some different designs that we can use, but we can also type in here what we're looking for. So let's say, for example, we're going to have a music event. I'm going to simply type that in and it's going to go ahead and find all the pre-made templates for whatever music events coming up. So now essentially all we have to do is click on one of these and it's going to go ahead and pull up whatever it has there. So the template style, it's got the art, it's got the colors. And we can apply this to both our pages and it's going to automatically put it over here and actually create two pages. So now we basically have a carousel post. So what we can do is go in and change these different elements to our liking. So let's say this lady's name is Misty Flower is the name of this band. So we can have summer tour tickets on sale now so we could see the artist picture. And then the second one, we can provide some more emphasis on that. So we could put other artists maybe that this singer is on tour with or other details we want them to know and then change these things to our liking. Now, what's neat is every element here is customizable. So we could change this background color to something more bright and vibrant or fits a certain branding style or theme that we want to do. And let's say we want a different picture. Well, if you already have a picture, then you can go into uploads and actually upload whatever that photo is. But if you've got something that doesn't necessarily have to be a very specific photo, we can go into the element section here and type in musician. So once we type in musician, you'll notice we have a lot of options such as just everything, but we can do graphics, photos, videos, shapes, audio frames, and charts. In this case, we're looking for photos, so I'm just going to click on that, and it's going to pull up a wide variety of different photos that we're able to use. Now, you'll notice it's premium content when you scroll over and this little crown icon turns into pro. So that means you have to have a pro subscription to utilize these, but there are a lot of free ones. And if you hit this filter icon in the search bar, you can actually go down to the pricing and select free. And then it's going to show you only the photos that are available to you in the free plan. So let's go ahead and just grab a photo and we're going to drag and drop into this frame. 
and we can easily change this out as many or as few times as we would like to. Now, once we do get a photo in a frame, if we click on it here, you can actually resize it some, but you'll notice that sometimes it kind of pops out of place. Well, one thing we could do here is type in frame in our elements section. And then instead of finding photos, we actually want to find actual frames. So now we see that there's a photo frame here, so I can actually make this a little bit bigger. But if we wanted to change the, the sizing of it or the shape of it, we could actually put it in a circular frame. And then we go back to our photo section here and just find that recent photo. And now we have a circular image inside of the frame. So that's just a really cool thing you can actually do inside of Canva very quickly to change these elements. But let's say we wanted to make this behind everything. We could click on the position tab, go over to layers, and then we could drag this layer down below all these other colorful things. And then now we have the image behind. There's still a little bit of resizing that we're gonna actually have to do here, but it just kind of creates a new look and effect that you can create very quickly. Now, once you have a design that you like, all you have to do is click share. And then from here, you can download the image as a PNG. You can do JPEGs, PDFs, PDF prints, SVGs, MP4 videos, which we'll get into in just a second, but you can also share these on social. So now you can share it directly from the social, but you'll notice this schedule icon has a pro feature. You actually have social media scheduling built into Canva as well. So after you create a design, if you have the pro plan, you can actually cl click on schedule here and then you can link to your Instagram or Facebook pages or whatever social media site that you want to utilize and you can actually plan this post. But now let's go back to the dashboard and look at something else. So this is something neat that I was working on the other day. So what I created here was a flyer for a Pump Pock Music Festival. So what's cool about this flyer is not only now do I have a completed flyer to promote my event, but I can actually print these flyers directly through Canva. So you can use your favorite online printer or a local printer, but the ease of being able to do it here is pretty good. And the pricing is fairly competitive with what other printers out there have, and the quality is actually really nice. So what it's gonna do here is give us options to choose our paper type, we can choose what type of finish we want on that paper, and we can determine how many flyers we want. So obviously the more you get, the cheaper that cost actually gets, but let's say we're gonna get 200 for $106. That's not bad, that's about 50 some cents a flyer, and that's pretty competitive with even some of the local printers in my area. So let's go ahead and go with that. Hit continue, I can see that I have a free delivery here. So it's gonna walk you through the steps to be able to set up your shipping and your payment information, and then you'll have them here. Now it's gonna give you some details and information about it, and it'll also tell you a little bit more about the shipping options later to determine how quickly you can get those. Now let's say we spent a ton of time designing this flyer, which definitely does not fit on things like Instagram or Facebook cover photos, but instead of recreating this graphic two or three or four times manually, if you have the pro plan, they have this feature called Magic Switch. Magic Switch is amazing. I guess magical if you want to go that route. But what you can do is go down and search by different categories of what you need. So if we're really going to push a music festival, I definitely want to have an Instagram story about it. I definitely want to have a Facebook post in landscape, a Facebook cover to create an event page. And let's say we just create a basic, um, maybe Instagram post square. So if we hit continue, you could see that we have four different sizes here. So what it's gonna do is resize this to those four different designs that we put in there, and it's gonna create copies of those designs. So now if we just hit open designs, it's going to open in brand new pages. So the first thing we have here is our uh, flyer in an Instagram post. Now it looks okay the way that it is, but we could edit this to make it look a little bit better in its positioning. That's totally up to you, but we have our Instagram post. We have our Facebook cover, which this one we definitely would want to make look a little bit nicer than what it is. So we might make this a little bit bigger. We could actually group these objects like that just by clicking on multiple elements and hitting group. We can go to the position tab and we could center this how we want that to be. We could move all this text around and maybe even group it together. So if I hold down shift and select these three elements, then I can hit group 
and then I can just start moving this text around wherever I want it to go. So these are just a few of the reasons I really love Canva, especially Canva Pro. But it's not limited to just creating social media posts in the sense of a photo. You can also create things like videos, and it works very similar. So if we simply click on video here and say we want to create a TikTok video, then it's going to go ahead and get us the sizing that we need for that TikTok video. We can find something that's already pre-created and simply drag and drop it onto our timeline here. And what is neat about this, we can change all these different things. So maybe I want to put this at Chad every day, and maybe this is going to be just weekly motivation. And then let's say I want to go into the elements and I want to find meditation. And instead of photos and videos, we're going to go over to audio. So now we have all this different meditation style music that we could simply find what we want, drag and drop it here onto our timeline. And now we have music to go along with our video. Now you might think you could just edit all this stuff and TikTok or wherever else it is. And that is totally fine. But if you do this within Canva, you're getting access to the music. You're getting access to all these different videos now. So I have all these different meditation videos that I can simply change out the background. So essentially what I'm doing is creating this template. And if I want to put out a video like this every day, all I have to do is come back to this template, change whatever I want it to say here in the center, maybe change out the music, and then I can change out the video as well. So you're basically getting access to this huge stock photo, video, and audio library that you might not have if you're editing on the native TikTok app. Now, the other cool thing about this is if you're creating it from here, then you can take this and share it as an MP4, or you could share it directly on social and you can send it to TikTok, you could send it to Facebook, you could send it to Instagram, or you can actually schedule this out. So the convenience is you have the ability to schedule it and send it to multiple platforms from within Canva. So you're not having to make it all on TikTok, download it to your phone, and then put it to the other social media platforms. You can also create things in here like presentations, and it's very similar to that of Microsoft's PowerPoint, which most of us are probably all very familiar with. But again, you have access to this huge library of created templates, your ability to create your own custom templates, the photos, the videos, the audio, and everything else. So that's why I like the presentations in Canva so much better than using something like Microsoft Office or even the things that come native with Google and stuff like that. It just makes the process so much easier. But I want to talk about one last thing today, and this is a pro feature, but I think it's very valuable. And I use this a lot for chat every day, as well as at my day job working in tourism. And it's called the brand section. So you basically get a brand kit that you can set up here. Now within your brand kit, you could set up any logos you may have. And when I work in tourism, you know, there's about three or four different logos that I work with. And then there's also color variants of that as well. So I can set up all the logos here in this section, and then I can choose them as I need them. So when I'm working on my designs, I can actually click on the brand section and it'll pull up even more than just logos. It'll also pull up my color palette that I've created so I make sure my branding stays in line and consistent across all projects. I can also choose all my fonts, so for my titles, subtitles, headings, subheadings, and so on. This is very valuable here, so no longer are you having to search for all these different fonts for these different sections. If you create something in a layout with one of these in Canva, it's automatically going to pull that font for you when you're creating each one of these sections. You can also have brand voice here. So this is an AI feature where Magic Write can now sound like your brand. So you can add in your brand voice and kind of give it some guidelines of what that needs to sound like. And then anytime you use the Magic Write feature, it's going to write whatever you ask it to in this brand voice that you've already pre-created. And along with all the other things here in the brand kit, you also can upload some just basic generic photos, you can have some graphics and even icons that you're going to frequently use. So for me on YouTube, a lot of my thumbnails have icons of social media logos. So I could upload all the social media logos here. So anytime that I'm making a thumbnail, I could simply just click on that and just pop the logos in nice and easily rather than having to search for them. And that's essentially the basic nuts and bolts behind Canva. If you do have any questions about any of the other things in here, I'd be happy to talk about that in the comment section below or even create another video on this. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, be sure to create something new today.